This is Akashvani Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Sandeepan Chakravarti. Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman chaired at meeting to review performance of seven regional rural banks of the Northeast region covering the seven states of Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura in Itanagar yesterday. The meeting focused on business performance, upgrading digital technology services and fostering business growth in allied agriculture and micro, small and medium enterprise clusters. Given the crucial role of rural regional banks in supporting the rural economy, Union Finance Minister urged RRBs with the active support of their sponsor banks to also put greater thrust on identification of right beneficiaries while sanctioning loans under various Government of India flagship schemes such as PM Vishwakarma. RRBs were also directed to increase their share in ground-level agriculture, credit disbursement with special focus on horticulture and allied agriculture activities like piggery, poultry, dairying and fisheries. Meghalaya government met the 16th Finance Commission and also presented a comprehensive overview of the current status and the multifaceted challenges faced by the state. Meghalaya Chief Minister Kondar Sangma welcomed Dr. Arvind Panagaria, Chairman and members of the 16th Finance Commission to Shillong. During the meeting, the Chief Minister stressed the need to transform Meghalaya into an exemplary state with assistance from the Commission. During the meeting, the state government, in a bid to ensure overall enhancement of the state, introduced its mission with a strategic roadmap. The state memorandum was also handed over to Dr. Arvind Panagaria during the meeting. In a social media post, the Chief Minister stated that the state government is also seeking over 1 lakh crore rupees as grants from the 16th Finance Commission. The centre has approved the release of 675 crore rupees to the flood-affected states of Gujarat, Manipur and Tripura as an advance from the National Disaster Response Fund NDRF. Of the total amount, 600 crores have been approved for Gujarat, 50 crores for Manipur and 25 crore rupees for Tripura. These states have been affected due to extremely heavy rainfall, floods and landslides during the southwest monsoon this year. Ministry of Home Affairs in a statement said that the central government is fully committed to provide all possible assistance to flood-affected states. The ministry added that during this year, Assam, Mizoram, Kerala, Tripura, Nagaland, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and Manipur were affected due to extremely heavy rainfall, floods, and landslides. The ministry also stated that during this year, the central government has released an amount of over 9,000 crore rupees from SDRF to 21 states, over 4,500 crore rupees from NDRF to 15 states, and 1,385 crore rupees to 11 states from State Disaster Mitigation Fund. Sikkim Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang Gore chaired a high-level meeting between the Border Roads Organization and the Government of Sikkim at Mintok Gang Gangtok alongside the Minister for Roads and Bridges N.B. Dahal yesterday. The meeting was attended by Lieutenant General Raghu Sinivasan, Director General of BRO, Brigadier Manoj Gupta, Chief Engineer of Project Swastik and senior officials from the Sikkim government. The discussions focused on strengthening the infrastructure and enhancing collaboration to support Sikkim's development and national security. Key issues included identifying solutions for landslide prone areas, particularly in North Sikkim. It was agreed to conduct joint inspections of critical points with an emphasis on restoring damaged roads. In Mizoram, Indra Sena Reddy Nalu, Governor of Tripura, was sworn in to take additional charge as the Governor of Mizoram at the Darbar Hall Raj Bhavan in Aizol yesterday. He will hold the office during the absence on leave of the incumbent Governor Dr. Hari Babu Kampampati. Sri Indra Sena Reddy Nalu was administered the oath of office by Justice Nelson Silo, Judge Guwahati High Court. The swearing in ceremony was attended by Chief Minister Pu Lal Duhoma, Speaker Pu Lal Biagzama, Home Minister Pu K. Sapdanga, other cabinet ministers, Minister of State, Lok Sabha MP, Chief Secretary, DGP, and other high ranking officials and invitees. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from Akashvani Shalong. Have a nice day.